the time has come. I've just done the last little bit of preparation, last tiny little bits of sanding, and I vacuumed the fuel holes, fuel tank holes out, and I've wiped everything down with acetone. And I've discovered something. If you're in a very tight, confined space and you're working with acetone, don't breathe. Pro tip. Just hold your breath. Okay, so I've got the paint ready and I'm going to go down below start painting. The information on the paint can says that Bill's coat is fast drying. I've got one coat on there and I grab a bite to eat. And we'll see how fast it really is. But in the meantime, it looks not too bad. Have a look. Of course, one of the issues that I thought about beforehand was that when I get everything painted white down there, the stuff that I don't paint is going to look really shabby. And I thought, ah, it doesn't matter. It's just an engine compartment. But... <laughs> It does look shabby, and it bugs me. But I'm not going to do anything about it, because in order to do a proper job of painting that engine compartment, I'd have to take the engine out. And I didn't buy a boat to do constant do-it-yourself boat fixing upping. I bought a boat to go sailing, so I'm going to leave it like that. We'll do one or two more coats to make the white that's on there look decent, and then the rest is going to have to just stay like it is. It's been about 25 minutes, and the paint is actually kind of dry it's tacky to touch but I can probably put a second coat over top the challenge that I'm facing right now is that because it's in such an awkward spot I actually have to sit on fresh paint in order to get up inside the bulwark but I'm going to see if I can manage that without rolling in it <laughs> yeah, by. I'm back at the club for another small chore Today I got the fuel tank holes coated with bilge coat. I primed the dinghy seat that's been waiting for paint for about a year. And I came down here to the club to finish the tiller. Tis a thing of beauty, a work of art. In the previous episode I showed how it delaminated and I took it apart and sanded it and epoxied it back together and uh, sanded it all smooth. And today, I'm using a product called Perfection to varnish it. It has super high UV resistance, and it makes this wood look absolutely gorgeous. I've only got two coats on there. It has to have a minimum of four, so I will come back tomorrow and add more coats to it. But it already looks like it's got glass on it. It just looks beautiful. I don't know if it's going to show up on the uh, on the GoPro here, but I'm very happy with the way that turned out. I can see my reflection in it. Very nice. Perfection is a two-part varnish. It's kind of like epoxy. Um, it came highly, highly recommended. There is uh, a website that does testing of product, and there's about three of the top quality finishes, um, Epiphanies and a couple other brands. But this stuff came out on top. The way they tested it was by painting wood and then leaving the wood on top of their building for two years, for two years. And this stuff, after two years, looked like it just been painted. And I thought, you can't go wrong with a test like that. So that's what I'm using. That's why I'm using it. And uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to use the same stuff for the cap rails. When the time comes to put the cap rails back on and finish them, they're going to end up looking like this. In fact, all the teak on the boat right now, it looks gray and weathered and nasty. But uh, once I get all the um, mechanical things taken care of and I start focusing on the 
cosmetic. I'm going to paint the deck this summer, hopefully. And part of that will be putting the cap rails and finishing off the teak. So, looking good. And as always, fair winds, following seas, and God bless.